All right, let's take a look at what's going on with the forecast and here tonight it's pretty quiet. We've got a weak stalled front in the area, which will get a little energy involved in that front in the coming days. But for tonight, it does look like a pretty quiet night weather wise, and it does look like we have a substantial change in the forecast coming. It looks like one more super hot, uncomfortable day tomorrow. Our temperatures will be in the middle 90s, especially away from the coastline. Leakesville, Mobile, Baymanette, Admore down near the coast, a little closer to 90 degrees, Fairhope, 90 one in Pensacola. We're watching the tropics closely as we always do, especially this time of the year. And as meteorologist Nicholas Herboso was telling you over the weekend, we have had some waves out there that watch. And this is the one that was in the central Atlantic last week. It's in the eastern Caribbean now. It has a medium chance of development either in the western Caribbean Sea or the southwest Gulf of Mexico by the end of the week or into the weekend. We'll watch it. It doesn't appear to be coming directly towards us, but it will be getting closer to the Gulf. Another wave here may gain a little bit of latitude and develop in the Atlantic. That'll just be something to watch out over the open waters and breaking it down. You know, it's a busy looking map. It's got a lot of stuff going on. This is a model run, and so we're just going to take it all the way through the end of the week and then stop it there about Friday. And this is the wave that was moving off of Africa. We have it off the northern Leeward Islands, probably as a developed system by Friday. And then this is the wave that's in the eastern Caribbean Sea. It should be closer to the Yucatan by the end of the week. What we have going on in the northern Gulf will just be a lot of rain and most of that will affect us on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday this week. So second part of the work week looking wet. Let's track it. First of all, tomorrow showers moving from east to west across the area where that easterly flow pattern that we see in September and we will see a scattering of rain on your Tuesday. We'll push it forward into Wednesday and we may see some morning showers near the coast, then pop up showers and storms in the afternoon on Wednesday, but Thursday looks especially wet here and you can see how much moisture there is right out over the Gulf of Mexico. We have a stalled front that's just kind of hanging out in the region. That should be the focus for the rain and look at our rain probabilities here as we check out Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, uh, Wednesday at 85 rain chance 60%, Thursday an 80% chance of rain and uh, looking ahead for Thursday there at 80%, then Friday at 70%, Saturday and Sunday we finally start to dry out and behind the rain I've got great news. While we only have a scattered chance tomorrow, we've got likely rain chances Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. This is really going to limit our temperatures, our daytime highs only in the low 80s this week with abundant rain chances on Thursday and Friday. And then, yeah, this looks like a September 7 day. Look at our extended forecast. Lows in the middle 60s by Saturday and Sunday. So certainly some improvements on the way. We will hit uh, very hot temperatures tomorrow into the middle 90s with a few scattered showers, but it does look like good rain chances the rest of the week. And we're finally taking care of that heat in the long range outlook.